the two hacks that help manage our busy family budget with a crazy chaotic ADHD brain. Sharing exactly what I do and why right now with you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sugar Mama TV and I am financial planner Canna Campbell. Today I want to share with you the two budgeting hacks and habits that have been game changing in helping manage our family budget, particularly with the rising cost of living. And the way that they have helped is number one, they've helped manage our short term expenses so that we can actually get through the pay cycle without running short and most definitely without having to rely on a credit card. And number two, it's actually helped us manage our longer term expenses. When we feel like we are being smashed left, right and center with lots of different larger expenses at the same time. So I shared with you guys a couple of months ago in this video that I was diagnosed with ADHD. It came as no surprise to me because I had been putting off going and getting help for a really long time. And being diagnosed and getting on medication has actually really helped me manage our busy family budget with so much more insight and control. Now, before I begin, I just want to remind you, number one, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Number two, make sure that that notification bell is switched on. And if you really like this video and you want to learn more and understand more about managing your budget and doing it correctly, I have a free masterclass, which I have linked in my bio where I can share with you so much more than this video. So firstly, to manage the short term expenses, not only have I done a budget, I've actually made a diary note that is in both my phone and in my calendar, letting me know what days of the month and exactly how much is due to come out of our accounts. Quite often, I would catch myself looking at our family account and going, oh wow, we've got so much money, we can have a bit of a splurge, we can reward ourselves with this, with that. Only to discover a couple of days later or a week later, all of a sudden, all these direct debits were due to come out and it basically clears out our account and then we are left struggling to the end of the pay cycle. By looking at my phone, the notes, and by looking at my calendar, I can see exactly how much is going to come out and when. And it can also make sure that I'm correctly rationing out our cash flow consistently during the month. Now, this is really important because also a lot of direct debits may actually fall on a day that happens to be a weekend. And because of that, the direct debit doesn't actually come out until the Monday or the Tuesday. But because I'm aware of that, because I've put it into my calendar, I can actually see, all right, if it doesn't come out on a Friday, it will therefore most likely come out on a Monday or a Tuesday, which stops me from going and accidentally spending that money when it shouldn't be. I can't stress how much this has helped stop us running out of money before the end of the pay cycle. The second habit that I have created for myself is more about focusing and planning and preparing correctly and responsibly for those larger irregular expenses. Again, from doing my budget, I understand that we do have some inconsistent bills, bills that come on a quarterly basis, a biannual basis and a monthly basis. But quite often, most of us, just like me, get into trouble when some of those bills all collide at the same time and we haven't properly planned and prepared for these. Again, by putting in my calendar and a note in my phone, I can see the month where we have these bills colliding. For example, I know that we have an electricity bill, a council bill, a water bill, and Christmas time all happening at the same time. It avoids the temptation to go and spend all that money thinking that we have all this spare. Okay. Okay, Rocco, you can't do that. Oh, Rocco, this is, I'm really un. <laughs> and of course, don't forget those larger irregular expenses that are more in the medium to long term because those are the ones that can quite often lead us to reach for the credit card, taking us back into debt again, which is the last thing we want to create for ourselves. So these simple hacks cost absolutely nothing. They take minutes to set up and you feel really good having this clarity and this insight with your cash flow. Now, if you really like what you're listening to and think this is really helpful and really insightful and adds a lot of value to the way that you want to manage your budget and cash flow, 
can I recommend that not only do you make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and that notification bell is switched on, but you also go and register for my free online masterclass. This is the masterclass where I share with you and explain how my budgeting and cash flow academy works. And I can share with you even more hacks, tips and tricks as to how to manage your cash flow and what traps to avoid if you're worried about money in your life and you want greater clarity and control. This is something I'm really experienced with, particularly as a financial planner, and I have a lot of wisdom to share with you. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you have an ADHD brain like me and what you do that helps manage your cash flow. Or even let me know what you're stuck with, because perhaps I could go and make that video especially for you. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you next Thursday on Sugar Mama TV.